tell me about the primetime players. Tell me about Titus O'Neill. Tell me about you guys first getting together. What was that like? Yeah, um, a lot of what you see backstage always somehow makes it to light a lot of times in wrestling. And uh, Titus and I, from being on NXT and traveling, uh, Vince McMahon would always see us together, always hanging out. And the one thing I learned from Titus uh, is closed mouths don't get fed. You know, when we finally teamed together, if we didn't have anything on Raw, he would bust right into Vince McMahon's office, you know, uh, and say, hey, boss, what you got for us? You know, like, you know, he wanted to work. And, you know, I was always timid. I would always be like, hey, hey big man, let's, you know, let's have a game plan because he's going to be doing all the talking and I'm just going to be standing there, you know. So uh, sometimes we would have a game plan. Sometimes we wouldn't. But that's the one thing I learned uh, about him. Uh, closed mouths don't get fed. You got to be you got to be out there in a good way. Uh, but Vince McMahon would always see us backstage together. And when the time is right, uh, John Laurinaitis signed us to SmackDown because of Vince McMahon taking a liking to us being so hungry to want to learn and to grow. So that's when we formed the Primetime Players. John Laurinaitis signed us to SmackDown, and we just we just kept it moving. For sure. Tell me about some of the teams you got to work with as part of the Primetime Players. Yeah, uh, I got to work with uh, Primo and Epico, the Colognes, you know, the famous Colognes. And they are, a, a, uh, when I use the term night off, you know what that means. They are a night off. Like, uh, they're aggressive, uh, but in a good way. And I can work them. I can work them every day. Um, who else? Uh Tyson Kidd and Cesaro when they were a team, the Usos, uh, who are killing it on SmackDown and wrestling in general, um, the Ascension. Um, uh, we were able to work with Rey Mysterio, who's a legend to, to all of us. Uh, so to be able to share the ring with Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara, um, it was tough because being a tag team wrestler, Ace, you know, uh, my partner wasn't that experienced in the ring. Uh, he, uh, he had the gift to gab, but I would help him design the matches. You know what I mean? Uh, so we wanted to hide our strengths. Uh, no, hide our, uh, hide our weaknesses and highlight our strengths. So that's what the main goal. So you weren't about what he's doing and a lot going on. So, um, yeah, it was it was stressful, but a lot of fun. So you're a kid from the Northeast, growing up a WWE fan. Here you are, WWE Tag Team Champion. What was that like? Tell me about that night. Man, I tell you, I didn't. Um, I didn't think it was gonna happen because we didn't find out to the last minute. I'm like in my head, I'm like cussing, like, man, what the f is going on here? Like this is ridiculous. We don't know what's going on. Like, and TV is just so nerve wracking. Again, I'm fine with TV now, but um, you know that that experience, that first time experience, uh, and years and years of just doing TV is very nerve wracking because stuff can get cut. You understand, Ace. Um, so it's just nerve wracking. So uh, winning the tag team titles has been uh, a dream come true, and people say, "Oh." we wish you would have won them more, you know, but whether I won it one time or five times or 10 times, I did it. You know, this Jersey boy that in his high school yearbook said in the last sentence I said in my 2002 yearbook, it said, WWF, here I come. I was determined. It's like whatever, whatever it took. That's what my high school yearbook said. WWF, here I come. So, um, winning the tag team titles was a dream come true. Um, uh, I, I, my, my 97 year old grandfather, that's my only grandparent has seen me perform in front of large stages, small stages. He was able to hold the title and stuff like that. So yeah, it, it, it meant a lot to me. I remember when we found out that we were going to win, uh, Titus, like Titus dove into the crowd to celebrate with the people unscripted you know what I mean I'm nervous I'm celebrating on the inside because I'm just so I'm, I'm excited but I'm nervous like uh you know we have to clear like to do everything you know so 
Um, but we didn't get into any trouble, but it was a beautiful, beautiful shot of you know, him celebrating and us just up high. So yeah, awesome time. That's great. Yeah. I remember watching that. I'm like, yeah, he did it. He did it. You yeah. Know, you, always, you always root for the people. Yeah. You, you seen along the way, you know, that was awesome.